Isabel Mercier, and this is the show that shows you that small, intentional, and consistent actions lead to massive results. The Big Biz Show is on the air on the Biz Television Network. Today's episode is going to teach you how to fill your sales funnel, how to manage your sales force, and how to close the sale. Welcome to a Wednesday. I'm Sully. That's Russ. Teen Hey, everybody. Big bucks, big yucks. The Big Biz oh. Show. Entrepreneurs take risks. They pour money, time, and effort into ventures that may or may not pay off. Everybody has an idea for a business, but how do you take that idea from mind to market? This is the place to learn. I'll get marketers who will stand up there who are, I know they're geniuses. They think they're dumbing it down. Yes. And I'm sitting there going, dude, you, they, you understand they don't have a clue what you just said. Yep. They're yep. ready to give you money. Yep. They don't know what you just right, said. Right, right. Hello, I'm Taylor Tone, and welcome to this week's episode of BTV, Business Television, the show that features emerging publicly traded companies. Before you make any money moves, check in with the Brain Trust on the Ray Lucia Show. Never let people leave disappointed. Now, Leapers, it's time to spark a conversation because you matter, you're important. If you can't pay yourself, you will not be able to sustain your own business. I want to know what you do to get clients to come back for more. It wasn't like, we want your feedback and, you know, are we doing well? They got my attention and they made me feel like I wanted to share. Frank Hanna is a successful merchant banker who first learned about business and the value of hard work from his father. A capitalist gathers lots and lots and lots of information. Because generally speaking, the more information you have, the less uncertainty you have about what's going to happen. Print more money so that we can buy our own debt. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that make you go into a reverse parallel universe or something like that? Isn't or, that like looking at yourself in a mirror, looking at yourself in a mirror, looking at yourself in a mirror? It, yeah, it's... it's there been no barbershop where it does that thing? It's like uh, uh, diluting the Gatorade. Oh, okay. Huh? How about how about diluting the Kool-Aid? I just woke up at one day after working seven years, and I said, something's wrong here. This isn't what life is all about. So I went out and for 300 bucks bought a 90-day Greyhound pass and took my own bus trip. Here's an update on how this company is rocking their world. Wavefront is an Edmonton-based company whose patented technology maximizes oil production recover operations. They invest it in a Roth IRA that grows for the next 20, 30, 40 years tax-free, and the government kicks them back a free check for $100, $200, $500, up to $1,000. It doesn't get too much better than that. Now, contrary to the golden rule, not everybody wants to be treated the way you want to be treated. How many of you in your dealings with other people have ever had a personality conflict? An entrepreneur is a person who sees things that other people don't. Someone who can organize things and other people around them so as to achieve the new object that is in mind. The journey is easier if we have advice from those who've gone before us. So every week, we present a small business masterclass. We have almost 22,000 Twitter followers only because I give out free stock picks twice a week. So take action on what you've learned here today and just remember that it's much easier to do it than to dwell on it.